What's up guys? Welcome to the Infinity Label Group Print Lab. My name's Ian, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your brand new Epson Colorworks C3500 inkjet label printer. First things first, you're going to want to open your box. Included inside is your printer, a power cable, maintenance box, a set of ink cartridges, and a label catch tray. Also included is a software installation disk, but you won't want to use that. That contains old software. You're going to want to go to infinitylabelgroup.com and install the latest drivers and software. To begin, place your printer on a flat, stable, and vibration-free surface. Take one end of the power cord and plug it into the wall and the other end into the printer's power outlet. If you're going to network this printer, now is a good time to plug in the ethernet cable as well. After plugging in your printer, it is time to turn it on, install your maintenance box and ink. To power on the printer, you're going to hold down the power button for one second until the screen light comes on. After turning it on, wait until the printer is ready. It should show the ink light on and this middle status light should be blinking. You're going to start by installing the maintenance box. The maintenance box comes with foil on the back side. Do not remove this foil. On the top, there is an arrow. When you install it, this should face towards the printer. To install the maintenance box, first open the side cover. Take the maintenance box and slide it in until you hear a click. Then you are going to reinstall the side cover. To install the ink cartridges, first open up this door on the right side of the printer. You'll see their spaces labeled black, cyan, magenta, yellow. To install an ink cartridge, the color label should be facing out. The text should be right side up to where you can read it. When putting the ink in, you're going to press it in until you hear a click and it'll pop out slightly. Continue to replace every ink cartridge in the printer. Once every ink cartridge is inserted, you can go ahead and close the door. Once your ink is charged, you can go ahead, insert your labels, and begin printing. If you'd like a tutorial on how to insert your labels, you can go to this video up here, or if you'd like a tutorial on how to install your printer drivers and software, go to this video down here. For all of your other label and inkjet printing needs, go to infinitylabelgroup.com. The links will be down in the description.